Hello guys, it's me, Brian Cockrell, on the Brian Cockrell Taxman Show. I'm with a very, very special guest today. It's no other than Emma, my wife. Hello Emma, Hiya. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what we do, we're doing, the, we're doing the book today. It's just come out. Um, it took us, what, three and four months to do it. Yeah. Uh, Emma, you can tell us what the hardest pass we're doing it, please, for the folks. Well, it was a little bit hard to start with, a little bit daunting, because I had never done a book before. Yeah. And I'd never typed before. Yeah, that's true. So it's pretty daunting to say the least, but yeah. we did it. Yeah, you've did it. And and I think would you say that probably it's probably the best book. I'm not trying to blow our own trumps or anything. I think it's the best book because we actually knew Lee, didn't we? You'd met yeah. Lee for yeah, friend. You I'd met him. To. And the stories we've told, the two stories what we knew back in the day. I mean, the other authors, one from um, Newcastle and the other one from the other, you know, one about. Um, just writing pure lies about Lee, absolute stories, making him into a monster he never was. This book tells a different story about Lee Vildry, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, we tried to bring out Lee's uh, personality, which other books haven't done his real personality. He had a lot of good ways about him and, and loving ways. He was a loving dad, a uh, loving partner to Carol, um, and all the kids will say Peter, that Peter, Peter his son. yeah, Peter Duffy yeah. as well. Shall but, we? Yeah, Shelley, um, Sammy Jo, Sammy jo Katie Lee, Katie Lee all, um, all his children. All his children, but uh, he, he had loving ways about him. He loved, uh, the kids loved him. Uh, he's Obviously, there's peak times he helped old people and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he was good. He was well. I'm not going to give it away because the book's here, so it's it's in the shops. We've got it. It won't be in the shops yet, but it'll be online and things like that. Won't it? Yeah, so yeah. we can, if you want to come to my house, if you want me to deliver it, the twenty pound signed copies, signed by the wife as well, <laughs> and signed by me and Mr. Rafe signed it. So yeah. the four of us all did it. But truth be told, Stephen Rafe, Neil Jackson, fantastic people to work with. Totally different from the last ones. Yeah. Absolute pleasure. Done uh, four documentaries in two months with them. We've done the book. We're on with the new book, the trading book. But uh, getting back to the Lee Duffy book, it was uh, it was good fun as well talking yeah, to people, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, all the people that have, that have uh, given stories for the book are all like people who knew and lovely yeah. and were around at the time. There's no there's nobody put, had any input in it that yeah. wasn't around Lee or didn't know him. Mm, well it was, said. Yeah. So it's all the truth. And the thing is, what we've done is that uh, most of the people were our friends, weren't they? Yes. At the time. And, and we've uh, made beautiful friends in and, and Carol and stuff through well all said, this love. trauma and, and, yeah, and hearing Carol, what Carol had I'm, been through with the family. Yeah. We got to know each other and, and our class was a real good friend. Very now, sister, so, you know, yeah. isn't she? You know, so, so absolutely fantastic. Yeah. But then uh, it's good to help people and we give the, the daughter Lee's coat. I'd had the coat yeah. for a long time and something in my head just said, give it to Lee's uh, family. So we give it yeah. to Lee's daughter and she's cherished it since we give her it. So we really yeah. feel good about that. It's yeah. it's not all about money. Somebody offered me five hundred pounds for it twice, and I didn't. The money wasn't. I was never going to give Lee's coat away. And then all of a sudden, I thought his family deserve it, so it went yeah. back to the rightful people. But the book has uh, been written from my heart. We've skipped off loads of ba the bad things that what what happened in that past because some lot of the things we did, me Lee were wrong. And Lee would be here, he'd say the same. Yeah. Um, but my heart goes out to uh, his brother as well, who passed away yeah. not long ago, Laurie. We put a tribute in to the both of them because the book's about Lee, and uh, we put a tribute to him for his brother. So, God rest both of them, you know. But, yeah. Uh, and while I was doing the research for the book, um, I did notice a clipping what Brenda Lee's mum had put in, saying that she didn't really wasn't really happy about anything going ahead with books and stuff. But she did say, if there was a book to be wrote, I'd like it to be a good one. Mm. And we hope that we've done that in this book, yeah. and we can uh, put Lee's family's. Uh, mind and hearts at peace yeah. with it and instead of painting him this monster like yeah. other books have painted him absolute nonsense some of these stories i mean the stories are about me as well with lee supposed to have done this and done that and they're just absolute rubbish i mean one of the authors was something like 89 year old when lee duffy passed away it's just absolutely nonsense he just keeps regurgitating the same stuff over and over again and then makes up lies and gets other people to make lies up and pays people this and pay just lies the people who helped us were proper people all in the 50s there were people who were actually yeah. there same as me i was with lee we have obviously been a bit of a fight at the beginning like ding dong like but like most top fighters in the commands and we had we, we had a, we had a bit of a we had a good laugh lee was really funny you know he used to tell jokes he was really funny and he was like he was there he was good fun to be around. He never ever miserable lead up. He was always happy. And this rubbish about him punching people every day. I was with Lee for about three and a half months. And I never, apart from one lad, I won't tell you what, what happened. It was in South Bank. 
I only seen him hit one lad in three and a half punch, and these other people have got him punching someone every single page. It wasn't him at all. He was a good. You said he's always been tough. You said he was in like fictitious as well the way he was. Like, oh he yeah. He was always happy and he and, had like a spring in his step when he walked and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he did. He was like, he, he, he's like, like. He was just like both of was like really, really, really sharp. And that's why I've enjoyed doing it because yeah. meeting later times I did meet him all yeah. years ago in the Havana and in the Blues. It's exactly how he was. Yeah, that is. yeah. Because yeah. what we've done, we've written the book. See. The other people have written a book, no disrespect to them, they're trying to make a few quid, whatever, but when you're writing a book about someone and you weren't actually in that era and you weren't actually, you don't know the words in the terminology. Yeah. The words we've put in, we put in words that, well, one author put in, he fought like the devil. But Lee didn't talk like that. And Lee did not, what, Lee wasn't thick, he was really, really, really streetwise, a lot more than clever than me at streetwise. And he was really sharp and he, he knew um, what was going on around him and he was, he, he just knew he was a fantastic fighter. One of the best it's ever been, but uh, he, the things we put in the book, you'll get a shock or some of them. The fight that the, the trouble that Lee Duffy had with Viv Graham yeah. was we found that when no, nobody ever knew about that. No one, uh, things about it. Viv Graham, what he was scared of more than anything. You, you, you laugh your heads off when you read it. It was just really good to, to do, do a book about in there that, have, that you wouldn't even believe it believe when you read them, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and yeah. they're gonna shock a lot of people, but in a nice way they're all yeah, lovely stories yeah. and and all the people that loved him as we say or encountered Lee and, and remember him for the lovely things. It's like yeah. all these books that have been written about Lee you portray him as this monster and he did this and he did that. But these people didn't even know Lee. No. It's like the st stories that are in this book are all true. We all know knew him and it's like that was Lee. That's it. And the people we spoke to we spoke to quite a few yeah. from South Bank and men. They have some fantastic stories, but fantastic memories. Yeah. My friend Peter Robbo, he's he's in yeah. there. Absolutely. Tony Stubbs. Tony Stubbs, my friend, fantastic. Kevin Kilty, he knew stories about him. Yeah. Um, Ozzy Bingham. Yeah. Um, there's just loads and loads, loads and loads. And loads. And there Even neighbours of Lee's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Little Chrissy Evo, uh, Darren Hugh, all these type of people who knew Lee when he was when they were kids and, and he, did, they did, he did great things for them, helped them and. He was really good for yeah. Tate, wasn't he? Yeah, and he couldn't like... drive for Toffee like he's the worst <laughs> driver in history when we used to drive. <laughs> yeah. There's some he... really, really funny stories about Brian's and Lee's time together. Yeah, he is. I mean, really, really funny. I mean, when I was typing it, it was making me laugh as I was typing yeah, it. Yeah, I was saying, so what are you laughing at? And this is at early hours in the Four morning. I was the morning. <laughs> getting up determined to get this book done. And, More she was. And it was like, I was actually laughing going back over the story some of the people had said. It was like amazing. But what she was doing, she was getting up at four o'clock in the morning. Now the book's finished, she's still getting up at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so and walking upstairs and tapping me on the head saying, what are you doing, love? I've been sleeping, it's five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been really good. So we've, yeah. we've started the new one. The train the bride cockle work and we decided to do that because loads of kids are training around they haven't got a clue so we're going to do this book yeah. and it's 43 years of knowledge and yeah. emma knows and people who have talked to tony grange is in the book as well there's even lovely work. photos in there yeah it's fantastic photos I mean, there. I mean the other books what i've written they don't put photos in i mean beautiful I look at the beautiful handwriting lee had he was fantastic um, the other thing he's going to say beautiful things yeah. it's like full of nice pictures yeah, nice pictures. stories see the other books you bought about early and, and myself of the shabby authors, they don't put no photos in because they cost a lot more money. So we weren't bothered about spending a lot of money on a, a fantastic cover, what we got, the picture was done, uh, and all the photographs were put in. It cost a lot of money, but we weren't bothered because we wanted to portray Lee as a nice human being, which he was. Yeah, he wasn't and, as bad as what people Steve, say. Rafe and Neil Jackson have gone totally out, out of their way oh, to yeah, make sure but, this got out yeah, in time. Most and definite. we were surprised yesterday when we got told that it was going to come today. And it was like, cause we weren't expecting it till the no, 5th. So it's been right. an amazing surprise. And we just thought that you will all get as yeah. much fun from it as what we did to write it. it. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so, so buy it. Come and see me. Contact me on Facebook page. Or I'm still, remember, tip of the day on YouTube, my YouTube channel, uh, Brian Cockrell YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for listening to us. And thanks all the people from Teesside who's helped us and all the people from everywhere. My friend Stephen says he's in it from Newcastle, but another great friend, uh, them type of people. So thanks everyone for, for listening to us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, everybody. God bless Thank everyone you. here.